Hey guys, this is uh, Digital Creators, and today uh, we're going to show you something a bit interesting. It's going to how to capture your uh, system audio, so like what's going from your computer. So uh, recently, Soundflower has not been working with the Mac for some reason. I've tried every solution, but then I found an alternate thing. So right here we have Sound Siphon. So yeah, Sound Siphon pretty much does what it does. It allows you to record your system audio. Right now it's on. And uh, in order to do that, let me just go ahead and bring this up. So what you want to go is do here. Once you download it, you should see... Uh, well, right now I'm using an aggregate device. I'll show you that later. So yeah, right here it'll say Sound Siphon for input and Sound Siphon for output. So they all start to record your system audio and make sure it's on. So also if you want to record a certain application, so you just want to click on the bottom left corner of that plus button, and I'm going to just name this computer. I mean you can name it whatever you want. So uh yeah. So it says click the plus button to add any app to capture. So what do I want to capture? Mm, what about Safari, hmm? So yeah. You can have it mute or in mixed stereo. Here's the volume. You can preview how it is just by playing something. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to it. So what if I want the volume lower? Or almost to none? Keep this all the way up. Wait, now you like it? I'll just save it like that. The way I like it. So. Also, if I want to add another application, so I'm going to see what happens if I do, uh, I mean, if I think so, like, if you want to cancel out anything and just record one thing, so, like, if you're having, I don't know, a Skype call with someone and you just wanted to record what's coming from Safari and not your friend talking about Instagram or something, you would leave that out and just keep Safari in here. I think that's what I've, that's for. I'm not sure how to really use it that well, the custom things, but that's just my guess. I mean, you don't have to make a custom one just to use this by itself. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm using it by itself. Now, if you want to do the thing that I'm doing and I'm uh, recording also with my mic, you would want to go to audio MIDI, which is in the launch pad if you go to other, in that little uh, section there, here, or if you already know how to get it, you would create an aggregate device and then you would add in the built-in microphone and sound siphon and make sure it's like this four four one this and the clock source is sound siphon and then the drift I don't know what this is but I like just keep the built-in microphone checked I guess so once you have that set up you want to go into system preferences and for input, have the aggregate device right here. And uh, for output, I'm not sure if it really matters for to have sound siphon, aggregate device, or headphones. I'm not sure. So yeah, once you have that done, you can go to QuickTime Player, uh, File New Audio Recording. Then you would select aggregate device for the microphone. So now it hears the computer audio and me at the same time then click record but of course I'm doing a screen recording you can see that so yeah I'll provide a link in the description for the download to this and also uh, that will be the end of this video uh, hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe and uh, we'll see you later goodbye